Hello and welcome back to this course on Unity Catalog. My name is Sijesh and this video I will introduce you to the Lakehouse Federation, the Courier Federation platform that enables you to use Azure Databricks to run queries against multiple external sources. So we will see how to set up Lakehouse Federation connection and create foreign catalog in our Unity Catalog enabled workspace. Unity Catalog's uh, data governance and data lineage tool ensure that the data access is managed and audited for all federated queries made by the user in our Databricks workspace. So we will quickly look into this, how to set up a, a Lakehouse Federation. So first we will uh, create a SQL Server, then we'll create a connection, then create the foreign catalog and uh, use some materialized table and uh, do some queries on this uh, table or data set. So let's quickly go into the demo. So first up, let's uh, go ahead and create uh, Azure SQL. So which is the data source that we are using here. Uh, search uh, here with uh, the keyword uh, Azure SQL and uh, you can choose uh, the Azure SQL uh, from here. So you can see this uh, Azure SQL. Go ahead and select that and uh, use this create button to create a new Azure SQL. So if you already have an Azure SQL available, you can use that. Here you can have this three option from this choose this SQL database option. And uh, you have to add these details uh, like your subscription, resource group, and then the database name. So whatever the name that you are using for your database. And you have to choose the server. So if you have already existing server, you can use that. Otherwise, go ahead and create. So this server name should be globally unique. So use some name for this uh, um, the SQL database server and uh, choose the location. So choose the location that you have already selected for other resources. So here I'm going to use my location as South India. So which is the location closer to me. And uh, once you selected that, you can choose the authentication method. So we have this three option. So let me just choose this both SQL and Microsoft Entra authentication. So choice is up to you. You can choose any of these options. And uh, the server admin login. So you have to choose uh, uh, some name for this admin. So I'm choosing the DB admin and uh, providing the, my password. So you have to retype the password and ensure you are typing the same password in both place. And then hit OK. So, so you have to choose uh, this Entra admin. So set admin uh, here. So you can choose uh, the username from your uh, Microsoft Azure AD. So I'm choosing this as name and then uh, OK. So this will uh, create a new uh, SQL database server. Okay. And uh, the costing and other information has come here. So you can choose these various options like Elastic Pool, the Workspace, Workload, Development, etc. So this one you can leave it as no and uh, the workload experiment as uh, environment as uh, development. And you can choose this uh, compute and storage option. So choose the minimal uh, one. Uh, you have two options, the provision or serverless. So choose the serverless uh, in order to uh, minimize the cost and also the number of weak calls uh, and minimum and maximum you can choose and uh, the data size also you can choose uh, the minimal one so we are not going to store much data here and uh, the redundancy also you can use this locally redundant so we don't need a geo redundant option here and then go to the next which is something networking so you can choose this public endpoint so which is okay uh, for this demo so you don't need to configure a private endpoint or other uh, configuration and uh, you can choose this as a yes for uh, uh, firewall rules. And uh, the connection policy, leave it as default and go to the next. And here you can uh, choose this uh, defender as uh, 
uh, this one and uh, ledger just uh, select this because it's a mandatory one so that's it uh, on this uh, security page uh, that's it and uh, we can uh, go to the additional settings okay so under additional settings uh, you can choose this data source we have three options none backup or sample so choose this sample data so that our database will have some sample data available so tag is something like which used to describe this resource that is okay so we can uh, go ahead and review and then create so this will do some basic validation so once this validation is over it will start deployment you can see this process deployment is in progress so it takes some time uh, to complete this deployment and you have to wait until this is done so once uh, this is done you can go to that resource group okay so this deployment has completed so we can go to that uh, resource group where we have uh, placed all these resources and go to this uh, sql database okay you can choose that database and here uh, you have some options uh, like uh, you can choose uh, which database you want to uh, choose okay so you can uh, choose that so type your password uh, and uh, you can choose this query uh, editor to uh, log in so you can see this uh, tables here okay whatever the tables uh, which is already existing you can see the schemas and tables under here okay so we will be using this database to connect uh, to this unity catalog so so for this uh, go to the workspace go to the catalog so here you can see uh, our existing catalogs that we have created let's uh, minimize this okay we are not going to do at this time and delta sharing also we can minimize then under uh, external data so here is something like uh, the connection so this is what we need to create a new connection so choose this option to create a new connection and uh, use this and uh, the few details like the connection name so choose some uh, use some meaningful name okay again uh, there is no hardcore rule on that so the connection type you can see the various uh, connection time with its support uh, the snowflake databricks uh, mysql azure synapse azure postgresql and all this it support so we are going to use uh, the sql server so which we already have a sql server available and the username so this is the username that we use uh, for connecting to our database okay so we can just use that name as a db admin and whatever the password we set for this db admin we can type here so once uh, we entered uh, that uh, password so you can get this host name so that we can get from this settings okay so maybe you go to the connection settings here uh, you can see this uh, connection settings and this is the fully qualified name so 1443 is the port name but you just need that host name that is enough okay so we can uh, add that host name here and uh, just uh, uh, the, here is the test connection option and also the advance will have that uh, the other details the port and the certificate so we can go ahead and do test connection so this test connection uh, you need a compute instance so you need to have a cluster up and running you can use that uh, for testing this okay so it may take a few uh, minutes because it has to check this connectivity and uh, uh, you will get a message like this okay so the connection is established the provided connection information has been verified and successfully uh, connect to your external uh, data source you can proceed with creating connection that's in then uh, use this create option to create that connection so now we have uh, successfully created this connection and uh, this is the owner you can change this owner and assign to someone else or some other group and uh, also you can grant the permission so these are the different types of permission the create uh, foreign catalog schema a table then use connection etc so you can uh, use all these options and assign to some other user or group okay and the next step is uh, like uh, so you can create a catalog okay so uh, so that uh, you can do from here also 
so go to this create catalog option under uh, this uh, connection use that and uh, use that catalog name so this is something the name you need to provide for your <coughs> uh, catalog so, okay you can use uh, some name so here i'm using that federated catalog and the type and the connection okay which you cannot change because uh, we are um, doing it from the connection and uh, what is the database you want to connect so you can uh, go to our query um, editor and uh, you can see that database or else you can uh, go to this uh, um, database or the resources you deployed okay so you see demo db01 is the database okay and that database the same database name so we are uh, going to add here in the uh, foreign or federated catalog menu then go ahead and create so it will create a new uh, catalog with the name federated catalog and it use this connection in the backend and it will connect to the database whatever the database okay so you can see this is a federated catalog and under that you can see the various uh, schemas actually the schemas are in our azure sql db so you can uh, see all this uh, uh, schemas which are already available here in this um, database okay so uh, we will uh, take uh, some of this table maybe the sales uh, um, lt so this is the schema under this schema so what are the tables uh, which is available uh, maybe for loading it, it takes some time okay so you can uh, go over various schemas and see various uh, tables available so actually this tables or data is not uh, loaded to the uh, databricks it still uh, exists in the the backend azure sql db okay so these are the various schemas and tables and uh, maybe we will take uh, one sample uh, table maybe the customer table you can see and uh, so this is the uh, how the columns looks like okay so these are the columns available the sample data also you can get so this is the actual data which is available in this table and the other details and permission everything you can set from uh, on this and uh, we can just uh, copy this uh, fully uh, qualified name so which is something like hierarchical name and uh, let's go ahead and create a notebook and where I am going to create a materialized view or a delta live table uh, using uh, this uh, one. Okay, let me just change it to SQL and then uh, connect uh, this. Okay, this is not changed. Okay, connect, attach a cluster and change to uh, SQL. Okay, so now I have attached to my demo cluster and I'm just going to create a materialized view. Okay so use this create materialized view the view name some sample simple name xyz or whatever the name we can choose and uh, uh, whatever the as select star from uh, whatever uh, this uh, table okay so this table is like uh, our federated catalog schema and then table the customer table sales lt which is a schema the customer is the table name and then go ahead and execute this so once uh, this executed you can see a delta live table as xyz has created by using this federated uh, catalog uh, and schema table okay so this is the table and uh, we can just uh, do a select uh, uh, star on this table also uh, maybe let's like let me just uh, create uh, one more cell and uh, copy this uh, table name and then execute a select star on this so this data actually resides on um, our sql server so this is the table and uh, let's execute a select star uh, on this table okay select star from so whatever the federated catalog and then schema and then table so this will list the contents inside this uh, table so you can see uh, it's executed as spark job but it uh, collected that data here so you can see 
uh, the table content so this is the same table which is available in our uh, sql db similarly you can connect with the other data sources also so that's it about uh, federated data set uh, in um, lakehouse so thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye